Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday morning, and we are heading to work. We're actually running a little bit late this morning. We had some stuff we had to do. I had to get the vlog finished up. I'm getting a little lazy with the vlog. I normally get everything buttoned up at night, but I've been like doing things in the morning more and more lately, so I promise to get better. I was so busy this morning that I actually forgot to eat breakfast, which is like a huge no-no in my book. Like, always, always, always eat breakfast. And I didn't do it today. Ah! I hope this is not an indication for how today is gonna go, because I got a really busy day. So I'm taking more photos for Allison right now. We actually do it all on our iPhone. So all of her stuff that you see on her Instagram, I'll put a link in the description below. It's all on taking on an iPhone. It's kind of fun. What do you think? That's good. Good? Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys, walking into work. Catch you here in a little bit. Hello, say hello, you're on the vlog. Oh, hey. Uh, well, we gotta talk to my mom now, so be back in a sec. What's up guys, I'm home now. I just wanted to talk to my mom a little bit on the way home. I'm heating up my dinner right now. I got some chicken and broccoli cooking up for me. Oy, today was a busy, just messy day, and it hasn't ended yet. So, went to the gym, did kind of like a weird workout. Like, it was really busy. And you ever have those days in the gym where like you're just trying to use the machines or you're just trying to get on a treadmill or you're just trying to do that and like you have to wait. I like hate that. Like that's like the biggest gym buzzkill in the world. And I don't know why Wednesday is super popular in our gym, but apparently it is. And so I said my day wasn't over. And the reason why I say my day isn't over is because at eight o'clock, so that's in like 45 minutes, I have a call with a family friend, I guess I would call it. Well, he's kind of like a friend of my father's slash like they had uh, businesses, they like were in the same space and so like professional, I don't know. I There was a time where I was building websites on like the side and I, I still do that sometimes, but um, I have a feeling that he's gonna wanna talk about that. We, him and I kind of talked about it about a year ago, so we might talking about that, which actually it's kind of the catalyst for something that I wanted to talk to you guys about in today's vlog. You see, a couple weeks ago, I found an article actually that was somewhat trending, and I like to stay on top of like the iconoculture, like things that are going on. In the future, I'll probably try to cater some videos into like what's going on in the world of things, not necessarily politics or world news or anything like that, but just like different trending topics that I think you might want my perspective on, or I, things I just generally want to talk about, and I'm gonna share them. But this particular article <coughs> was about millennials and kind of like side hustles. And what I mean by a side hustle is like, I work in advertising as my full-time job, but am I doing something on the side that maybe like makes a little extra money or is like a creative outlet for me and things like that? To which many of you may say like, Ob obviously, yes, but, Let's just be totally honest. YouTube does not make me money at this point. Like, it just doesn't. You have to do YouTube a long time with like thousands and thousands of followers to even make a dent in the Pinto payment, okay? But I digress. And this article, I'll, I'll put it in the description below just in case you want to read it, but what it did a really awesome job of saying in the, in the writer really explained like, where where does this come from, right? And I have my own opinions building on what the writer was saying, but a lot of people seem to think that why do millennials want to focus on side hustles? And I think some of it is definitely the like 2008 economic kind of recession that we went through, for sure. When I was coming out of college, the area that I wanted to work was just not an option. The metro Detroit area was, there was no jobs, so I had to look elsewhere and I looked at Chicago and obviously it worked out, I met my wife, I, no complaints. The only thing with that is based on the sheer volume of the side hustles that are out there, everyone from like graphic designers to yoga teachers to teaching after school to babysitting to like all of these extra things that people do, 
there's just so many. There's got to be something more than just money. Like look at a, at a writer. I think even the writer of that article is like, I made a whopping like $400 writing for the internet last year. There's something more than just that. And th that's what I want to get into. Like for those of you that are millennials or have millennial children or grandchildren or family members or things like that. And yesterday's vlog, I kind of alluded to like, don't talk crap about millennials, but like that kind of got me thinking today and I want to just explain something. So the generation that's ahead of my generation, which is generation X, um, they're commonly known as latchkey kids. And what latchkey kids means like both mom and dad were working. I came home, took the key off the latch, right? Like took care of myself, let myself in, made dinner, whatever. While millennials, when we were growing up, like it was fairly common for you to get like participation trophies and our parents told us that we could be whatever we want to be in this like empowerment thing and part of that also gave way to some forms of entitlement and in not everyone I know I know my parents didn't but like sometimes people were coddled a little bit and felt like they were deserving of recognition for not doing anything I mean there I know there are people out there that think that you didn't win all you did was show up and you need to get a trophy and some millennials think that, yeah, I deserve that. I deserve the recognition. And in the workplace today, that is 150% true. I know where I work, dealing with millennials is very, very different. Like having to just organizationally acknowledge their work and manage them very different than any other generation. So like I was saying, there's gotta be something more than just making money here. And this is, this is my theory, right? So if we, we're always the people getting the trophies and and when we got the trophies we put them on the wall I mean how many of you give this video a thumbs up if you had like you know certificates or trophies or ribbons or whatever like on your wall when you were a kid or if you did it for your children or something like that like that pretty much defines our generation like we want to show off our accolades right so when Millennials are coming into adults and this is just my theory I think we still have the need the desire to say that like we are feeling fulfilled, that we're getting the most out of everything, right? And this writer completely hits that on the head. So we do side hustles. We say, oh, you know, I'm gonna work in advertising full time, but every once in a while, I may develop a website for some cash on the side or, you know, get my creative juices flowing by managing a YouTube channel and things like that. That is kind of this like need for the side hustle that I think millennials are really gravitating towards. I think like another thing is, is you know, I think there's some financial drivenness to it. I don't wanna beat around the bush. I mean, college is in, in higher education, <laughs> I, I you know, it is accessible. There are scholarships and grants and things like that, but like it is fairly difficult to just get them. Um, there's definitely circumstances that make it easier in your accolades and things like that that can get, you know, scholarships and whatnot. But I mean, I I am still paying off college debt. My my wife will be paying off her college debt for like many years to come, right? And having that extra money is like definitely part of it. But having side hustles as millennials, I think, is almost part of our identity, where we we feel like we want to be innovative and we have to constantly impress on sub kind of subconscious and I'm generalizing right so like I, there's no way I could describe every single one of us and I am one of you if you are a millennial so I don't want to talk crap about millennials but we are an extremely innovative a outside the box thinking we're rather driven right but some of the downsides is we're kind of chronic whiners, we're chronic complainers. We constantly have to be recognized for any contribution that we have. And kind of as a manager, like I said, like we kind of have to check up on that, which just makes for managing millennials really, really interesting. And then the last thing I'm gonna say about millennials is just this, like, at least the people that I interface with, when we get frustrated professionally, when we get to the point where we think that we're not being appreciated and we're not whatever. I don't know what it is about my generation is that we think that like there's always greener grass on the other side. And so we run or we go try to figure out another solution. We quit jobs, we try to move companies. And you know, 
Uh, something that me as an advisor for college students, me as a professional, as a manager, that I absolutely love is seeing the look on someone's face when they've absolutely had it. They, they, they can't, they're like at the point where some people are like ready to break down in tears and they're forced to figure it out. Because that moment right there, that single moment is called learning. When you are opening up your brain and having to figure something out that you thought you couldn't do and just pushing you know, your, your nose to the grindstone and getting it done, that moment right there, I, you can't emulate that. And when you, we've all been there. Like, I guarantee all of you, comment in the comment section below a situation where you just thought you couldn't do it. Where you thought like, I cannot figure this out, but then you knew you had to. And so then you put your, your mind to it and you figured it out. And that feeling that you get where you're just like, yes, that right there is learning. And that's when you figure it out. And generally that calm, that panicky flighty feeling that people get when they're like, screw this, I'm out, I want a new job. That generally goes away while you're having this feeling. Now, that's not to say that there's not unique circumstances or a bad situation where you had to figure something out. But let me know in the comment section below, what is something that you just thought you couldn't do, whether it's professionally or personally or your fitness or you're trying to do a project or like whatever it was. Like, and just tell me, how did you persevere? How did you push through? And then in the comment section below, let's, let's encourage each other. Let's push each other to get to the next level. Whether it's millennials or not, I'm kind of digressing from what I wanted to talk about and now this is getting ranty, but that's all. I, I, just, I just wanted to talk about that millennial things. The article is in the description below. Check it out. Wow, guys, I am so sorry that I just like ranted forever, but <clears throat> I feel like I could talk about that stuff forever. If any of us actually ever get to meet in person, like I love having like the theoretical, the like higher order conversations, the meaning of life kind of conversations. Like I love to talk about that stuff. Like if you guys ever like message me or comment or have questions for me, like what do you think about this? I mean like, I wanna have that type of community with you guys where we can just like ask questions of each other, like what do you think of this? Like what do you think of that? I mean, I would love that. So if you guys ever feel that way, shoot me a message. I don't care if you comment on my Instagram, if you tweet at me, if you write a comment, like whatever. One thing that you, some of you guys were asking for, so actually one of my subscribers, I'll give you a shout out right now, Skinner TV, you guys sent a comment the other day that said, hey, like, we're kind of like marketing and nerds, data nerds. Me too. And they asked like, could you do like some tips or advice or things like that? And like, me, like, relating back to my side hustle, like, that's actually some of the stuff that I kind of do on the side. So if like, you guys ever have questions about like, what can I do for this or how do I maximize that and like Skinner TV I know you guys have a YouTube channel I love your guys stuff like let's talk let's set up some time to actually talk with you like I totally wouldn't mind talking with as many of you guys as like that I can I mean obviously time permitted and we all are busy in our lives but like I'm just like a matter I just like to make the world a little bit better and if that means helping each other out I mean like you you hear us shout each other out all the time like we have this like little community of creators like obviously Kyle Gott, McKenna Guy, we communicate all the time they're really close with Katie Culp and the Lovelies and all of these guys and they, we all comment on each other's videos it's like really awesome right and there's really no like financial benefit there's no it's selfless in terms of how we talk to each other and like give each other advice and stuff like that. I mean like, I feel like some YouTube channels and some people like want to benefit from that, but I, at least I, speaking for myself, don't think of it that way. I think of it as like, we as like our kind of little niche of creators are a chain and we're only as strong as our weakest link. So why not? So sorry today was kind of like a totally different vlog than I normally have. When I was thinking about this today, I didn't shoot a lot of like extra stuff on purpose because I knew I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about this. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Give this video a thumbs up if you kind of like the conversation bits like this. I promise I'm not going to do these all the time. So if you're like, no, we don't like this, that's okay. There's always tomorrow and the rest of the whole year that I'm going to be daily vlogging. So, and probably beyond that. So 
Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share this, this vlog with your friends. Like, let's invite everybody into this channel. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any th thoughts for me. I would really, really appreciate it. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.